Good morning, everyone. This is Mark with Wear Parts, and uh, with me today at the Wear Parts studio is Eric Derry from our customer care team, and we want to talk about the gauge wheels and gauge wheel tires that fit the case planters. Eric, tell us about the Otico brand of gauge wheels and what makes them better. What what's unique about them? Well, first thing to start out with is going to be the tire itself. Uh, high quality proprietary rubber compound uh, developed by Otico, their own uh, through their own engineering um, engineering department. Um, excellent rubber, very tough, but flexible, and they actually have channels running through this tire, almost like a like a like a regular tubeless tire where you have the put air in it, but there's some flexibility there. Boy, there is! Wow, that's yeah, amazing. In, in the tire itself. Now, what that does for you is that as you build up mud and dirt on that tire, and you need a way to get rid of that or it's just going to end up fouling everything up. So as this compresses and pops back up, that's actually a self-cleaning tire by, by being able to do that. So tell me, Eric, on this, on this tire, this gauge weld tire for the case, it's got this reduced inner diameter. Why does it run a reduced inner diameter? I well, mean, what, what's, what's, the, what's the whole point of that? Well, on the... Uh, Case has somewhat of a unique planting system where the the, uh, uh, the opener blades are actually offset front to back, so they're not running in a in a like side to side by side in a lot of the deer applications where they're actually running next to each other. Gotcha. They're running at a, at an offset. Front yeah, to there's, back. there's you a, have a leading and a trailing. Yeah. So uh, because of that, um, you have an opportunity. There's an opportunity for that dirt as it's coming up in between the gauge wheel. And the and the opener blade, it could potentially fall back into that into that trench and and not leave that trench open enough for that seed to come into. I got you. So this gap here is a relief spot for that dirt right. to go. Right. It, it's, got you. Because it's somewhere to go, so it's not falling right that back into that seed makes trench. Sense. Another nice thing about the Otico uh, tires is the consistency of that wear edge. Uh, it's the same thickness all the way around. Very controlled and nice and smooth so you don't have those high and low spots or those thin spots that where it could tear out and fail prematurely and then you start getting that unevenness and raggedness on that gauge wheel. Once you get a split in there in, in, a, in a gauge wheel, it's just going to end up tearing that whole thing up and you're not going to be able to do as good of a job. I got you. We've actually had customers that have tested these, these gauge wheels um, against other brands for run out, both the wobble and the lope. And, um, these Autico ones, hands down, run a much truer uh, run out tolerances on there. That's it. <clears throat> What's that, a four and a half by 16 spoke? Right, this is a four and a half by 16, as you said, that's the spoke. This has the three spoke in it, uh, where we have the, uh, the nice heavy cast iron uh, hub here. Or, yeah. Hub, yeah. Yeah, the cast iron hub. Uh, heavy bearing. This bearing is also replaceable. So if you notice right here, we've got this snap ring. Uh, for whatever reason, that bearing does fail, gets foul, or uh, or whatever. Um, you can take that snap ring, pop it off, slide the bearing out, put a new one, press a new one in, put the snap ring back on, and then you're good to go again with a brand new bearing. That's a good point you make. <clears throat> the bearings that we run in here are the best, the finest bearings in the world. They're actually out of Europe. Um, but if it wears out, you can replace them on this Autoco setup. Um, there's one other thing I just want to explain on this on this wheel. If you look at this spoke, it's coming down here and meeting the rim, and it's actually resting on, there's a lip here where it's resting on the rim. So as your weight transfers up from the ground to your hub, um, it's the bolts are not carrying the weight. It's actually transferring from the rim to the spoke through this little ledge that's here. So probably hard to see with a camera. But it's there. Trust me. And we have these in the uh, in the spoke, but we also carry them in the solid wheel too. For those applications where you're not running through as much mud, uh, more of a conventional, uh, standard type, uh, where you're not going to have that that infiltration of, of 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 slurry and mud inside that needs to escape. So uh, the solid wheel is a very good. Still uses the same tire, same uh, tire, the same okay. relief, same. Okay that same relief in it, the uh, reduced inner diameter, uh, so that's, 
but just has the, the solid wheel so, gotcha. with a steel rim still. <clears throat> so were you saying that the spoke is used for guys that are running in conditions where they want that mud to escape? Is right. That, okay. yep, yep. Gotcha. Absolutely. Yep. Makes sense. Uh, so Eric, what all uh, planners, case planners, does that wheel fit? Well, this is going to fit the early risers, the 1200 series, the 2100 series, um, just to, just like the OEM. So it's going to have all of them that are going to be using that uh, leading and trailing opener blades uh, with that uh, with that reduced inner diameter on the gauge wheel. Gotcha. So it fits fits the early riser 1200 series and the the late model 2100 series case planners. Well, that sums up our uh, session on the Case IH gauge wheels, uh, the, the Otoko brand that we carry uh, coming out of Europe. Thank you again, and good morning.